Right now, college students across the country are returning to campus and thousands of them will live in fraternity houses and like the rest of the school, well, these will look much different this fall as well. Yeah, Fox 59's Brett Cass tells us what fraternity leaders are trying to do to slow the spread and prevent any outbreaks. As a college freshman, Welcome Week is all about being social, but with a socially distant semester, friends are harder to find. You know, we think of a fraternity party, fraternity function, uh, those I mean, people, you know, freshmen obviously want, want that. A lot of people come to the social atmosphere. Liam Batez is president of the Interfraternal Council at Purdue, home to about 90 Greek life organizations with 6,000 students. He oversees nearly half of them. Most of my job has really been, uh, you know, making sure all our chapter presidents understand uh, what's expected of them and expected of all student organizations. Before classes started, a party at an off-campus cooperative led to 36 students being suspended. The house is not part of the Interfraternal Council, but served as a warning. So I've been trying to be really clear with the fraternities that, you know, Purdue is taking this seriously and we need to, you know, we need to respect it. And at the end of the day, it's the right thing to do. We want Purdue to stay open. Keeping school open is key for Greek houses who rely on fall recruitment, now being done virtually over Zoom. Honestly, we're hearing of some of our groups that are having some of the best recruitment they've ever seen in a digital setting, in a safe way. Delta Sigma Phi, along with a number of other Greek organizations, are headquartered in Indy, many reporting success so far. Well, we're seeing that young men still want to belong to something, and they are willing to do it in a virtual space, and we're seeing a lot of success. But that success goes hand in hand with safety. The organizations have guidelines for chapters, like wearing masks, splitting up house dinners, and limiting gatherings. Anything to keep schools open and give the pledge class of 2020 a college experience. You know, we're doing well right now. It's just a matter of staying on it. Brett Cast, Fox 59 News. Brett, thank you for that report. Classes at Purdue started on Monday. So far, 68 students have tested positive, 51 of them in the last week. More